In this grasshopper example file, you can convert a simple rectangular surface to a NURB surface uh, by changing the position of a series of points by using the kangaroo plugin grab. Uh, as you can see here, I can just move these points in Rhino viewport and get the solids uh, finally at the end. Uh, finally, I can bake the cap holes and get the solid in Rhino to use it in my project. So let's take a look at the algorithm and how it works. First, we have the curve container, which is a four-sided polyline. You can give it a rectangle or just simply type polyline in Rhino and draw a four-sided polyline to use it in this algorithm. Now I can just right click here and set the curve. And this is going to be used in my project. Before we go to the next step, just right click here and internalize. Uh, the curve so it doesn't need the rhino and also delete uh, the polyline. Next part is the gene pool which is the number of divisions you have on this polyline. Uh, this is going to be the first edge, the second edge, the third edge and the last edge. Uh, to see the results because the kangaroo is updating this uh, after uh, changing the number of divisions simply go to the kangaroo solver and reset this so uh, the first edge for this example is going to be this edge and we've divided this into one so this is going to give you two points the start and the end the second edge is going to be divided by two so it's going to give you three points which is going to be the start the middle and the end and the third edge is going to be this one which is divide, uh, divided by three and it's going to give you four points so we can control these four points and the last one obviously is again a start and the end. So remember that this gene pool is going to help you to uh, divide the number of edges into whatever numbers you want. Okay, after you have uh, changed the divisions, just reset the solver. In this part, you can see that the curves and the network surface is disabled. Just select this and enable it. So it's going to give you the NURBS surface, as you can see here. Uh, the curve is going to make the curve for the edges, which is going to be these curves. You can see here. And by using the list item, I can select the four edges and make a network surface from it. If you want a network surface, you can just simply bake it and you will have this in Rhino. Uh, the last part is to join uh, the NURB surface, the borders and the bottom together and cap the holes. So if you just bake the cap holes here, uh, you can have the complete solid in Rhino and use it in your project. So remember that uh, by just changing these points, you can get a new solid. Now let's do that again. Again, I'm going to select uh, the interpolation and network surface and disable it. And for this example, I'm going to just draw a rectangle in Rhino and set it to the curve. Uh, remember to internalize it and delete it in Rhino so you don't uh, get caught in dragging the curve uh, each time you move the points. You can hit reset to see the points again. And if you want to change the number of divisions, simply go to the gene pool and change the number of divisions you want. And again, reset the solver. Now enable the network surface and just change the points so you can see the NURBS surface easily. And at the end, you can just bake the cap holes if you want to have the complete solid. So you can use this algorithm to simply design parametric solids in Grasshopper and convert them into Rhino. In this advanced example file, uh, you can actually select two edges by using a list item, uh, evaluating the curves. And you can see here, I can change uh, the evaluation simply by changing this gene pool and producing a line from it. Now, if I turn on the divide curve, you can see that I can change the number of divisions on these lines simply by changing this gene pool. Let's turn it off again. Here in the Kangaroo Solver, I'm going to enable it and reset so I can get the points to access it. Also enable the network surface so you can see the surface uh, in Rhino. And now by changing the base points and also the second points, you can design an advanced uh, solid. Uh, you can see that I can change the location of the line and also the points to fine-tune uh, the solid. If you change the number of the divisions of the lines to one, for example, which is going to be the start and the end, be sure to reset the solver. And you can also change the location here. And now by changing these uh, uh, 
lines, you can actually change the NURBS surface by defining the sections which you want to make a line. Again, I can increase the number of divisions, reset the solver, and I can change the location here. I can access the surface, network surface from here. If I want to, I can bake it and easily have it in Rhino. I can also bake the cap holes here if I want to make the final solid and use it in my project. So simply this advanced uh, example file will help you to have more control on the solid by defining the location of the line, the control points, and finally baking the solid.